Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. I'd like to thank you all for joining me. Uh, today I am going to feature some celebration product and I'm featuring the Epic Celebrations and we're going to make a feminine birthday card with that. Um, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to um, do this particular project. I've had it in my head for a little while and I thought since celebration is almost coming to a close 31st of March so if you are interested in um, getting this uh, stamp set this is free with any order that you put in that's worth $90 or more so I highly highly recommend getting this stamp set it is fantastic for teenagers anyone who's into music or anyone who's young at heart this is a great great stamp set so I'm going to be featuring this fantastic celebration stamp set and I'm also featuring the sheet music background stamp I think these two were made to go together and I'm also using the tailored tag punch this punch is featured in our occasions catalog which will go up until the 31st of May so you have a bit of more time to order this one but um, yeah do get this one before a celebration finishes um, and these are free products so for every $90 you spend, you get a free gift that you can choose. So, there, yeah, it's a good deal. All right, guys, so we'll get started on this project. Um, you will need a piece of Melon Mumbo cardstock. This is an A4, cut in half and scored in half again. So I'm just going to burnish that score line now that I have uh, previously done. And with this we are going to stamp all over it and we're going to heat emboss so to begin with um just bear with me for one second i'll just grab some scrap paper i always use up old paper because i like it so i've just got some scrap paper here Yeah, it was the quickest one I could find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this little, um, where is it? Just grab my things. This little image here, I'm going to stamp all over that background with Melon Mumbo. But I am going to stamp off so it's not so obvious. We'll see how that goes. So that's Melon Mumbo ink. So stamp off and then use that as a very subtle background. And I think that looks nice. So that's how that looks. So I'll just stamp all over that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that, guys. It's um, getting into autumn now. It's still warm, but... Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going around my kids' schools at the moment. So I hopefully am not sick myself, <laughs> but I feel okay. Okay, so I just randomly stamped that, that, um, those dots, polka dots all over there. And I'll just give it, um, just to give it a good wave, just to make sure it dries off a bit. And I'm going to now get my embossing buddy all over that. And we're going to do some heat embossing. I've been, I'm a big fan of heat embossing at the moment. Just love it. So I've just rubbed the embossing buddy all over this. And I'm going to get the guitar, that image there, and I'm going to stamp the background with that with my Versamark ink. So I'll ink the guitar up. I'll just randomly stamp that all over. Um, even on its side, it doesn't really matter. All over. Go like this, I think. Down there. And here. And I'll just stump 
up the top there as well, but I'm just going to ink up that bottom part of the guitar. And just do that there. Okay, so I'm going to now get my white embossing powder. And that looks fantastic. Okay. Get that all over. down here make sure I get everything and I'll give it a good flick so I'll just turn it around there make sure I don't touch any of the embossing give it a nice flick and get rid of bits that are not necessary and I'm going to go now I'll add a little bit more embossing putty oops sorry embossing powder not the buddy <laughs> over this part there yeah just add a bit more powder Yep, that looks great now. So I'm just going to heat um, emboss that and then I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. I've just finished heat embossing um, the guitars in white. So have a look at that. I think it looks amazing. I love that. Very cool card so far. All right, so what I'll do now is I'm going to grab my sheet music background stamp. This is in our annual catalogue and... Um, yeah, it's just one big giant stamp, okay? So I think it looks fantastic. So that's the stamp set there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some basic grey cardstock. This measures three by four inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer it on here like so. And um, I'm going to heat emboss on this as well the sheet music so I'll just grab first off my embossing buddy and I'm going to rub that all over this basic grey sheet okay then I'm going to ink up my um, stamp And I'm going to head emboss that in white as well. So just make sure I get a lot of ink on there. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab my... Pop that on a sheet over that. And just rub. And that looks amazing. So pop that over here. I'll grab my white embossing powder. Pick it up again. That looks really cool, I like that. Give that a flick. Okay, so I'm going to heat emboss this and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've just finished heat embossing the sheet music onto basic grey cardstock with white and that looks fantastic. So that's just going to go there. Okay, and um, 
what we're going to do next is we're going to get a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and we are going to stamp the headphones um, but before we do that I'm going to cut out a circle with a stitch shaped circle and I'm going to use the second largest one for that so I'll just grab my big shot so I'll just pop that there grab my big shot and I'm just using my big shot platform with the thin die adapter a cutting plate I'm going to put my die on there now and I'm going to crank that through okay. and that's all done and we have a fantastic sh stitched shape circle <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister that one. Oh, there goes my die Oh dear, I'll get it later. <laughs> I just flicked it off. All right, I'm going to get some basic grey archival ink and I'm going to use the headphones and I'm just going to ink it up and I'm just going to stamp it in the middle. Okay. Pop that away. I'm going to clean this immediately. Just um, spritzed it off camera there because I don't want it to go everywhere and clean that up and then you get your archival ink off straight away if you don't want it stained so I'll let that dry for a second and um, I forgot to bring my blender pen so just bear with me for um, just a minute or so and I'll be back and I'll uh, start colouring those uh, headphones. Okay, I'm back. I've got my blender pen and we're going to be using Melon Mambo again and some Smoky Slate ink. Um, I'm going to start off with the Smoky Slate though first and I'll just pull, actually I'll pull some ink onto the lid. So I'll just press down, then open it up and then I've got some ink pulled on there so I'll just grab my blender pen here and I'm just going to color in this parts of the headphones Okay, just colour that. A bit darker. Let's go over it again. Okay, so so far I've just coloured in just there this part's there and there okay um, with the inside part I'm just going to color that pretty dark go over it a couple of times so it looks a little bit darker than the rest of it okay so I'll finish with that for now and I'll just use my scratch paper and I'll just scribble off the color and the next colour I'm going to grab is um, Melon Mambo and I'm going to do the same, just press down onto the lid and get a pool of ink. Okay, so I've got some ink there. And I'll just start colouring in the headphones. I'll just try and keep within the lines. I'm not doing any fancy shading. 
other than if I want it to look darker, then I'll just um, go over it again. But that's as, as um, exotic as I go with uh, my colouring. That's something I'd like to work on this year is my colouring. So I'll just add a bit of Melon Mumbo here. And for this one, I'll just go over it a little bit, make it darker. So I'll just go over it about two, three times and then just colour this part here. Just so it looks like it's got a couple of shades of pink. So I'll do the inside a little darker there. Just to help it differentiate the different layers of that, um, of the headphones. And then I'll go over darker here on the end of there. Okay, I think that is done. And I'll just scribble off. Okay, so what we'll have here is our card there base. I'm going to stick this at an angle. I'm going to have this down the bottom. Okay, and I think we are also going to heat emboss. Mm, will I heat emboss? or not? Mm, here's the question. I'm in a bit of a dilemma. So I can use Melon Mambo or Basic Grey and I'll be using Here's to an Epic Celebration and I'll be cutting that out with the uh, ta tag, Tailored Tag Punch um, but I'm just trying to decide between which two colours to use. Just trying to think, think, think. I think for that one I might just use um, white <laughs> and I will um, use basic grey for the sentiment. See how that goes. And if I don't like it, I can always use something else. So I'll just take, stamp that on there. And it says here's to an epic celebration. Just clean this off. And I get rid of all of the ink off that. Okay, so I'll just grab my tailored tag punch and cut that out. And I'm going to add stitching all around that in basic, in, sorry, in Smoky Slate using my, actually I'm going to use my Smoky Slate marker. So I'll just grab that out of my tin of markers here. And there it is, that was easy. Pop this back in there. And so this is the Cadbury Roses tin. Don't chuck those out. They're great to store your markers flat. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to use my pen, um, the small point there, and I'm just going to do some stitching. Just right around the edges of this. Doesn't have to be precise. Just freehand, nice and easy, all done. See, I'll bring that closer so you can see that. Isn't that great? Alrighty, so I'll get my 
fast fuse and I'm just going to lay that down on the card base there. So I'm going to put it at an angle like so. Okay, so that's all stuck down. Looks good. We're going to stick this down here. We'll have that over there, I think. What do you think? I think that's what we'll do. So I'm going to grab my dimensionals and I'm going to pop these two up on those. So I've just turned them over. Grab my dimensionals and I use our um, large stamping cases for those to store my, all of my dimensionals in there so I don't have to you know, look around a lot. Well, that's really stuck on. Weird. Okay. And stick some dimensionals there. Two and three. So I'll just take off all the backings. This is a very simple card, but if you're stuck for ideas for teenagers, this is a great card. So I'm going to keep this, um, yeah, for one of my daughter's friends who's having a birthday later in the year. So might as well have this ready. So that's that one there done, and I'm going to pop that just over there. And there we have it. Okay, nothing overly spectacular, but it's simple enough for anyone to replicate it. And um, I think it's pretty cool because it's got the headphones, the music, and the guitar in the background. I think it's a great teenage card for a, for a girl and um, or a boy who likes pink, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you all like it. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to... Um, Contact me through my online store at pepplyrose.stampinup.net and do take advantage of Celebration. Um, these are free gifts for every $90 you spend. So this is a free item. So if you like this, don't miss out. And it's while supplies last as well because we're coming to the, the near the end of Celebration now, 31st of March is when it's over. And um, I'd hate for you to miss out. So if you don't have a demonstrator anywhere in Australia, uh, you can choose me. You don't have to be in New South Wales or Sydney. You can be uh, from any state in Australia. And for every order that I, I get, I also send out um, a free gift to say thank you. So, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed today's project. And as I said, any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. Um, or you can contact me through my online store at pepplyrose.stampinup.net. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye.